On eight, our kids. On eight. It, we have got an oasis of a show for you. Do not look back in anger, people. It is one day or someday. I've got <laughs> one of the lyrics to there somewhere. It could be, yeah, uh, don't look back. I did don't look back in anger, didn't I? Have you been practicing that all day? I did, yeah, but it sounded a lot better when I were in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> it did sound a lot better when I were in the shower. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. It is a Wednesday, 8 p.m. It is Three Men and a Vape Show. And we are joined by the normal wonderful casters, the wonderful Vape Mill, who has just released his second juice, chapter two. <laughs> the review is out, untold. Bit, bit nice, bit nice. And we've got the wonderful Flat Cow Vape. How are you, brother? I'm all right. You're looking Sand. good. And we are joined by the one and only Vaping Mank. How are you, brother? I'm good, thanks, our kid. I'm really good. <laughs> Walking around the house like that. All right, my some might kid. say. My our kid. Hey, all right. <laughs> I loved Oasis when they first come out. I loved them. I think the... Uh, I hate Oasis. Do you hate them? I absolutely love them, me. Let us know in chat what you think. Do you like Oasis? Let us know in chat. So nice to see everybody in chat as well. Thank you so much for keep supporting us. It is absolutely amazing. Um, I'll tell you what, we'll go straight away over to Harley. What about the people, the lovely people, who are on the replay? I refuse to move on until you do your yo-yo-yo. There's two things you've missed. You missed the yo-yo-yo, which I know everyone in chat's dying to hear, and you also missed the do-do-do-do. So we need both of them now, please. Come okay, yo-yo-yo people, welcome back to another edition of Three Men and a Vape Show, and we'll play Flat Cap's jingle. Do-do-do-do-do, say hello to the people who left a comment, do-do, something like that, I don't know. I, I didn't realise... We, we've been told. I didn't realise there was more of a delegator type of person, but there is, and it's Harley. <laughs> You delegated the delegate. Somebody has to stand up for the people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Somebody has to stand up for the people every now and again. Yes. <laughs> He's like, so oh. on with the comments. We've got we've got Pav G we're watching on replay chaps. And then we've got Rob Stanley. Um who have upset. And I'm sorry, Rob. It, it weren't like that. It's just we quite often rush and I were trying to get through things. Um but Rob Stanley commented to say can't be asked to comment anymore because I'm getting lazy. And it is true, I am getting more and more later every week, but I am sorry. I do appreciate all your comments, and so do Flat Cap and Gaz too. Uh, Grumster said, it's my weekly shout out. Uh, Frank and Meister, Melanie Baxendale popped in again. Melanie actually went to comment about the shops as well, saying that she used to go to brick and mortar shops in the town centre, and then she got fed up from having the same liquid all the time, so she went online. And I found that a lot with bigger shops, like uh, EcoVit. EcoVit haven't changed their in-store juices for about five years. So I do understand what you mean there, Melanie. Uh, then we've got Jones of Vape Reviews coming in to say loving the videos. And we've got Christopher Edwards. Excellent show, guys. Keep up the work. And while I've got you all paying attention, I'm just dropping a link into the auction for Little Bro's fundraiser. It is a lot of kit. Go and check it out on that link. The current bid's under £35, and that auction ends in 40 minutes. We have got another one on, but we'll do that in the deal section. But the current auction ends in 40 minutes. The current bid's under £35, so get over here and check it out. All the proceeds, except from PayPal fees, go straight into Aidan's Macmillan fundraising pot. That is amazing. That 135. I think uh, Gary Kenny is the one who is uh, winning at the minute at 135. Are we starting a, another auction straight away after that? Because Darren, we Darren M. Yeah, it's, it's already started. Uh, that auction is already on. Like, so we'll talk about it more in, in deals. Um, but yeah, that's got over 200 pound RRP, all donated to by Darren. I've chucked in some untold. Darren said he'd pay for that, but I'll, I'll, I've got it in. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's four juicers. There's about three or four products, devices as well, coils. Uh, but we'll talk about it during deals. It's uh, amazing. You're totally right, Gailey Bops. Uh, fuck cancer. Big love to you, sweetheart. Uh, also, nice to see Salford Vapor in there, brother. I hope you're all okay. The runny total, just so people know, this is absolutely amazing. £1,715. You people are amazing. We've also got the, the auction money to go on there. Um <laughs> The wonderful Darth Vapor has already put his money in for the end of the month just so he doesn't spend it. And I know we've got another £100 to go on to that. So we're going to be easily hitting over the 2K, which is brilliant. Well, Look. two grand in Asian Bank before this happens. Let's get two grand in there, guys. You're doing an awesome job. 
Yeah, well, the, the, the bit that I quite like about it, it doesn't go anywhere near my bank. It goes, <laughs> it, yeah, I know what you mean, mate. It goes straight to Macmillan, which I love that bit. Nobody can go to you, well, you had this money here. It goes straight to them. That was one of the reasons when, when I looked how it all worked. I was like, thank God, that's great, that. Uh, big think, shout out to Lord John. Right. I didn't think it would be right tonight, the man getting pissed, because Adrian's on the wagon, so I thought, you know, a cup of coffee, so. Uh, man, you must have a thing against me. Every time I cast with you, you're always on the coffee or the tea. I'm You're upset. a bad influence, Gaz. <laughs> Am I? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a bad influence. Yeah. Makes everybody want to go tea total. <laughs> Damn it. Sorry, Mank. <laughs> <laughs> um, just another a big shout out. Um, Matty, our Facebook leader. He is the leader, Matty. Um, or Matt. Uh, unfortunately, you might not have seen him around a little bit uh, uh, on the Facebook page like he normally is. Unfortunately, his mum passed away uh, last week. So... From all the guys here and, and everybody else, big love to you, mate. We have been thinking about it this week um, and try and keep your chin up, buddy. I know it's hard, but yeah, big love from all the lads. And, and I know what everybody in chat will be exactly the same. I know I'm talking a lot. We will stop me talking in a minute. But the last thing is, we was going to do the Speedos today, but unfortunately, they didn't get delivered in time. We haven't got them. But that doesn't mean that we are not going to be doing this. Uh, me and Mank have worked it out that we're going to be probably next week coming on the show, but it's probably a good thing that we haven't got the speedos on. What do you reckon, man? I think you just bottled it. I mean, so, how long have you planned I, I, hey, me, I mean, I, t tonight I was going to give a twirl and give me a foot. <laughs> I've had to put shorts on, you know, so. He's in the it. army now. You've been planning this for weeks and weeks and weeks. Oh. <laughs> I blame Aiden. It's my fault. It is my fault. Well, it's my fault. It's the people I bought off of eBay. And they're trying to, to blame COVID. Well, for the lack of speedos. Well, they're saying that they've sent them, but it's because of the COVID in the post. People are panicked buying oh, toilet roll and speedos. <laughs> yeah. I mean, who even buys speedos in the first place? I know. I, I haven't got the package for that. <laughs> I won't Shit, mind if Susan. I send the package. Shit, Susan, we've gone to tier three. Quick, buy some more speedos. <laughs> buy some speedos. That makes sense. Never mind. That were another thing as well. What people buying, um, you know, like pasta, pasta and toilet roll, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the thing. Don't Let's knock see. it till you've tried it. Yeah, Gary Kenny is giving a wolf whistle. I don't know who that's too. <laughs> nice to see you, Pam, as well. Are you okay? Right then, we have got a special guest on. We have got the vaping mank. Tell us your story, buddy. When did you first start vaping? About uh, six years ago. Uh, started on one of them little penny things um, with tobacco and menthol um, and then went on from there. Started on sub home, moved from Manchester to Lincolnshire, started work here, ended up getting a job in a vape shop, was there for about a year and a half, that shut down and that's, that's basically it really. Now I'm on Met Mods most of the time. Are oh, you a Mick man? I like my mechs and I like my pod systems, mate. I very, 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 if anything, I very rarely touch a sub or mill. Very rarely. Nice to see you, Mark. What's your go-to mech? Uh, at the moment, it is my tailspin. That one. Um, but the mesh that I add on top of it is on my drag at the moment. So that's... But if I wanted to, I could use my art off on top of the uh, thing as well, so. So your actual YouTube channel has been up for a couple of years, but you only really started doing kind of video reviews, uh, was it about seven or eight months ago, I think? Yep. Something like that. Um, but you've smashed out a hell of a lot of, I think you had 100, and, when I looked earlier, you had 118 videos, I think. Yes. 118 reviews. Smashed a load out, yeah. I even, of... I even did a lot in the summer of this year. Um, I did a lot of out and about down by the river with the man because I just went down there and started doing and I was dead surprised because I was just like, you know what? That's that's got a lot more views than any of the other videos. I think there was only one. I think it was um the biscuit man, the pinky wafer. I actually beat it, I'm not sure, but yeah. Crazy. Oh, I got all red because I'm tired and knackered. I've been in work all day and I'm just so tired it's unreal. Well, the thing is, it's, it's an interesting RDA, isn't it? It's, uh, yeah. 
it's certainly different. So uh, it's good that it's uh, it's getting views, definitely. Thank you. Really well, yeah, Mark, Mark Nature Babes uh, is actually in chat. Nice to see you, Mark. He did feel a little bit perturbed uh, about um, the, the Thursday show. Uh, I did actually give him a ring myself just to put put, put this, the... the I don't, I don't mean record trade, but put my side of things across to it. I've got no problem with, with Nature Babes. Same as you as well, Flat Cap, have you? Yeah, I'll... I'll I've been meaning to contact him because only since you told me earlier that uh, he he was a bit disheartened about what what went on in the UK vape show. So I apologise to you, Mark. It was I don't think any of us meant any kind of malice by whatever he'd said. So I know there was a joke about Pud. I warned. The thing was, I warned Pud and you, Aiden, about building on it just before the show. It was a bad idea because it is a, a really unique deck, and you the first time you build it, you really need time to sit there and and figure it out. Well, I, I sort of give myself a bit of time, but I thought, you know, the actual bit that you put around the actual bit of cotton, that that I I didn't know. I thought it was left out of the packaging, so I was looking, but it wasn't. It was actually inside <laughs> the deck. So you, oh. I, you told, if you remember, McTavish actually told me. So I took it off and I thought I, oh, I can do this, and it, I, I got a bit of a dry hit, and that was because I'd packed the outer bit where you've mm. got to sort of like give it a good fluffing. I know you, we were talking about this before as well, weren't you? That you also need to um, make sure you have got a little bit of pressure against that um, coil itself. Yeah. yeah, it's so different to what we're used to. We're all just so used to a normal, regular, like a round wire coil when you put your cotton through it. It's completely different to that. And it, as much as you can watch a video of someone doing it, because I've watched Mark's um, introductory video and him building on it. It doesn't, even when you watch it, you still got to try it a few times to get it because it is just different to what we're used to completely. Yeah. So, again, yeah. if there's any beginners in chat, if you're thinking meh, don't bother so you know your own law and your battery safety because otherwise you're going to get fucked up. Simple. Mm. Yeah, you've got to make sure you know your battery safety and your uh, ohms law if you're using a meh. But yeah, they, I, I'm quite enjoying using it. About 60 watts, what are you, you doing it at? Yeah, about 60 watts, yeah. Yeah. Which, yeah. Is, which is spot on, a little single over on the Chroma R. 60 watts, lovely. Yeah. yeah, nice. Yeah, but I'm glad we got that all sorted. So, Mank, you, you're uh, on. Um, you've been doing a bit, a sh few shows with uh, West Yorkshire Vapor, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm on the obviously with Skint and the lads. I'm on the Bargain Vapes live um, on uh, Friday at nine thirty. Then uh, Saturday night, I'm on with uh, Ash West Yorkshire Vapor on his channel um, on uh, Saturday night, drink some chill. And then I've got my own show, uh, Lazy Sunday afternoon with the bank at three in the afternoon on a Sunday. So. Busy weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday for me. One of the most funniest videos I, I actually, and you didn't have to make me giggle on this, was when you was working out OBS. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was so funny. I watched that and it just reminded me grandma when we first got a video recorder and she couldn't work that out. She was trying to turn it over with a glasses case. It I was fucking brilliant. I still don't like OBS. I, I prefer screen art. I really do. What, what, what happens if I press this? <laughs> I'm not pressing that. <laughs> it was brilliant. It was really good. Now you're on the uh, the bargain vapes, which is one of my favourite shows. It is something different. Uh, me and Flat Cap have been on it. Have you been on it yet, Vape Mill? No, no. Interestingly, um, when Skim were making it, he asked me to be a co-host, and it was the time I was stopping doing uh, Marshall, and I, I was really tempted, and I actually said yeah. And the next day, I messaged him going, dude. I can't stop doing my show because I ain't got time for it and then do yours. It wouldn't be fair on me or you or anyone else. So I had to back out. But ever, ever since, it was a great idea. I even, I even chucked him a few ideas. I don't know if he used them or not. Um, but it, it's a cracking idea for a show. I think, it's, it's I think really it just works. Well. I mean, the thing is now, they've just brought in this. Because like, obviously, it's like a it's like a virtual um, expense that you get to go out and buy like an RDA or a full kit and everything like that. And uh, if you don't meet it, you end up with a forfeit. Just that's vaping. He ended up having to dress up as a woman. So, hands yeah. up if you preferred him as a woman. Uh, yeah, actually, to be, to be fair, I actually quite fancied it myself, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> there's some there's some wonderful um uh actual personalities personalities on there. Uh, I really love skin. McTavish we we had him on uh, the UK vape show, he's absolutely corking. I love the vaping head as well, the vaping head. He he done half make me giggle. Um you've got uh, the Lathiath I always get his name wrong, Levi on <laughs> who was a decent kid and all really like him. So yeah, you've got you've got a uh, 
a nice set of people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the, the thing is, is, is like, um, when when we first started, before he joined us, I said, oh, I should call the show Three Scots and a Mank, but they were having none of it, you know. And then just over the weeks, Skin kept having a go at me because they kept saying, you stop giving me a fucking pink car, you know. Used to it now. Listen. And we're always on the, on, on the group chat and we're always having banter on the group chat. It's brilliant. Love it. Um, couldn't ask for, I couldn't ask for a better bunch of guys to be fair. No, they're really good and I think the show works really well. Obviously, you, you, you're you banging these reviews out like Flat Cap said. How many how many videos has he done in, in the space of about, about seven, eight months? Uh, a hundred and... Ooh, I can't find it now. hundred and eighteen, I think it was. That's a lot of videos. They, so currently, uh, this might have changed in the last minute, is 117 subscribers with 117 videos. So every one subscriber has a video for themselves. Yeah. But I've been dropping the link in chat, in chat, folks. So go and drop him a sub. Well, it should also be coming up. You know what Nightbot's like. It makes its own mind up as well. But uh, Flatbot. It should be coming up. But thank you very much, Flatcap, as well, sticking it in there. Get yourself over there. Go and give him a sub. Let's, let's get him pushed up a little bit. Um, a lot of your reviews has well been, uh, you do your juice reviews and it just seems like, just lately there's been a few more devices coming into it. Yeah, I mean, I, st I started off mainly thinking to myself, all right, I don't do down to the table or picosy shit. Um, I'll just start doing reviews. I did a couple of reviews um, and then I thought I'd uh, like change it up a bit. So I did a couple down by the river in the summer, uh, juice review there. Went live a couple of times down by the river and uh then when I got the nest, I thought, you know what, let's try this with the Kose. And uh, I basically just got my webcam, switched it round. It wasn't the best in the world, but I, and then I just started doing this build. And once I'd done the build, I stuck it on um, uh, an, an editor and I just time lapsed it. And that's when Nature Vape, uh, Mark, commented and said, really good review. He said, you must have the record for the fastest build. Because everybody else that I've seen, I've just been building it as normal, whereas I was like, no, I don't, I don't have time for that. I'm a busy guy. I've got a, a van, so I just time lapsed it. So you went, you went for the speed build? Yeah. You see some of my videos, I just <laughs> cut all the boring bits out and just <laughs> screenshot, 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 done. <laughs> well, well that, that's, that's the good thing about editing, isn't it? I never used to edit. You know, I just used to record it and upload it. And then now I'm just like, wow, you know, 117 subscribers. I'm just like, shit, I don't even think I get that far. Yeah, once you get over that 100, it's amazing, isn't it? It's a great feeling when you get, get past that 100. It, it, I, do, I do remember. I think it was Skin that turned around and said to me, man, check your subs. I was like, I checked it. I was like, shit. I, I do remember I, I, I come across your channel and then a few weeks later, I happened to just I was sitting there late one late one night and it said you were live, so I clicked on and I think it was your birthday. Yeah, my birthday, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was having a birthday piss up. Yeah. You were a bit worse for wear. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I was having, I was doing a birthday piss up live, I think it was, and uh, I was I was three sheets for the win. Yeah, that was uh that was funny. You invited me on, but I thought, oh I best I best not. <laughs> I I, now, if I'd have been drinking, I'd have been straight on there with your brother. On that day, two bottles of this. Oh, nice. Do you, uh, do you know what? I feel absolutely fantastic for not drinking. Yeah, and it's great yeah. because my bed is just there at the back of my PC, so I just got up and just went clunk, and that was me going right. straight. I, must I admit, think I'm, I will start drinking. I think, I think I'm going to start drinking so I can stop to feel good. <laughs> now, the thing is, is I, I switched it around a bit because in some of the earlier reviews and whatever you'll see, I'm there and People can see, I don't want people seeing me fucking beg on doing reviews, you know what I mean? So I switched it around now so that I'm facing the wall. Oh, okay. Uh, and now I'm going to be putting, I'm going to be hopefully getting uh, the shelf put up, a couple of shelves, and I'm going to have like mods on it and the liquid to take it up a bit. It, it is, it, then, then you have to see, it's a, a, a written rule that once you start becoming a reviewer, you need to get shelves with mods on, and then you need to underlight it as well. It's just an unwritten rule that once you're a reviewer, that's what you've got to do. Yeah. That's why I got this ring light, because when I was doing reviews in here, the light was crap. And I had to do them in the daytime. And uh, the light was out. I thought, you know what? I saw a skimp. Uh, sent me a link to this big ring light. And it's it, it's amazing. It's got like a little remote control with it. I can just adjust the light and everything. Yeah, I've, I've got one of the... I've, 
I know what you say. I've got one there. That's what I use for when I do my up and closes, and I just move that one across so you've got a light. But I'm pretty lucky I've got a bay window just here. So if I'm mm. doing it in the daytime, just open that up. So you can't beat natural light. Some some of you is trying to push the boundaries a bit and have like televisions behind them and you know dodgy plaster. And then the worst ones are the ones who use green screens. Yeah. <laughs> you know that bit when the old thing's up and it just goes transparent, or all of a sudden the rears get cut off. Uh, yeah. Yes. Oh, so it. Put, put <laughs> and I hate RDTAs. The <laughs> It is nice to see net reality in. I have got net reality, Graham, has been absolutely fantastic to me um, over the the thirty. Well, we're not on thirty one days. We're on twenty one days. I've, I started off with me. Um, sorry, the bottle, t the dog at half of it. I got my. Um, can you see that? Kendall mint cake. Kendall mint cake. I've had to put that that way. Then I got, which I've nearly done. I love this, Parma violated. And then my new one, which I haven't tried yet, he sent me, is McDonald's apple pie. Thing is, I've got, like, all these to review yet. Plus, I've got more over there. And so, I've got I've got shed loads to do. Well, like I say, I've got, like, 11... I've got 11 days off from the 2nd of November, so I'm just going to bang them out like crazy because my plans to travel to Manchester and I've been fucked up by tier three. So, I can't come and see family now. Yeah, it's a nightmare. So, yeah, big shout-out, Graham, for, for sending them out, mate. Um... To keep me going along the way, it's absolutely fantastic. What right. are they all like 50 milligrams? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I need it. I need it. <laughs> Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, we have got the Rochford Project giveaway. We are going back to the wheel because last week made me feel sick and dizzy. So we will be going back to the wheel. We will we'll sort all that in a little while. I tell you what, it's time we will get flat caps deals. No, flat ta caps tech. I did that last week. And I'm not yeah. even drunk. Rochford Project. Flat Caps Tech Reports. Is it? Hits it, brother. Right. Okay. I've literally got good news, everyone. I've got a maximum of three pods and a lot of really nice, good stuff. So, Ooh. so let's get on with it. Let's get right on with it. First, we'll start with iJoy. And this is the iJoy Captain. Bear with me, folks. Just mute it for five minutes, then we're going to good stuff. <laughs> iJoy Captain 1500 Pod Mod. Five mil capacity, up to 40 watts. Uh, I believe it's USB Type C. Looks like every other pod. It, it, it just looks like the Vapresso Target PM18, all those ones, yep. doesn't it? Yeah. I think so a lot that's... of them are doing them style and also the sort of style of like what Vupu come out with as well. It, it seems to be a lot of them coming out that sort of style. Yeah, they're all going pod tanks and this little bit of fancy levery stuff behind it. And yeah, anyway, moving on, moving on. Everyone happy? The Geek Vape, with terrible pitch, I do apologise. The Geek Vape Mero AIO. This is a 2,100 milliamp hour USB Type C. It's like the old pen stick style things, isn't it? And it does yeah. take the the Geek Vape B series coils as well. So um, it's just another. Um... It reminds me a little bit like the Preco when they came yeah. out with the Preco kit. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just like they take the boost, which is fine, and then a couple of others, and then they've just kind of made a new style of it and see how that goes. Um, right, one more pod, and then honestly, I've got loads of really interesting things this week, I promise you. <laughs> I, I do promise. The Vupu Argus Pro, 80 watt, 3,000 milliamp hour. 3,000? 3 billion. No, 3,000 milliamp hour. Yep, yep. <laughs> um, up to 80 watts. Obviously, the pod tank, the usual from the things but you have this cool little kind of protective housing on it which i think looks pretty cool yeah it's a bit of grilling. um still got the just wear flow still got the usual argus style but um yeah i i'm confused though because i it's a bit of a, a bit of a mess now with vupu they've got this argus line going on and they've got the drag line going on it, it's both very, very similar uh, aegis-esque as well isn't it mm, yeah and they're all the same yeah so it's just uh Interesting. Right. Last week, I showed the Orgveig Druga RTA 24mm with this 3D airflow. I now have a picture of the deck. I don't have much information yet, but I wanted to show you guys what the build deck looks like. So here it is. Now, it doesn't come pre-built with that different. coil. Hmm? It's completely different to the RDA. Yeah. Yeah. I was quite surprised by that. Yeah. But um, there's a picture of the deck. <laughs> it's a little bit uh, Kelpie-esque 
But we're just a split in between, isn't it? I wonder what the yeah. airflow is like. Yeah, well, I don't get how that's 3D airflow. I don't know. I, that, like I said, that's literally all I have in it is, is that image, which has like a real narrow slot at the bottom. It looks really... that. Do you not think the bottom of that RTL is really shallow? Yeah. Yeah, it does, so, doesn't it? But yeah, it's, it's, um, it looks like a fairly straightforward kind of build deck single coil. You could probably get quite a big coil in there, to be fair, as well. Jumping. But as soon as I get more information on that one, hopefully I can give you the full rundown. Um, I don't think I like drip tip either. The drip tip? Yeah, oh, that's... Mm. Wide bore. Wide bore and um, curvy. Mm. <laughs> I like curvy, but not not like drip tip. No, not a wide bore. Curvy. Don't like a wide bore, though. I like curvy. <laughs> Another RDA from Purge. From Purge? Yeah, I, I'm sorry, I, I forgot. I'm sure somebody put this, sent this to me. I cannot remember. I'll do a picture of the deck as well. This is the Purge X. It's 25 millimeter. Uh, and also, interestingly, all previous Purge RDA caps will fit on this. Uh, they're calling it the uh, an island-style build deck. I'll show you a picture of the build deck. Uh, and it's approximately about 50 quid. So Very simple to build on. There's your deck, yeah. It is like a little island inside of a RDA, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. and by the looks of it, you've got you've got two screws to for uh, for either side. So you just put both coils in, then just screw both in, and they've got their own little section. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, and if you, I'm not sure. So I just noticed that now. What is that um, hole? Move out of the way, you thingy. Yeah, oh, that'd be for squonking, wouldn't it? That'd be your squonk. Yeah, that'd be yeah. Really, you'd probably, probably squonk pin available. Yeah, yeah. So that's the purge. What's wrong with Gail's coil? eyes? Sorry? Was you thinking single coil? No, no, I just wonder what that hole was below below the coil. Then, I've, yeah, I've remembered it. It'd be swanky it donkey. Yes. Right. Oh, do, 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 do. Don't have information. much information on this one. This is an image I saw from Grim Green. This is the Type 2 RTA. It's uh, an own boy OC and grim green jobby. Um, no information yet. Just this is like one of the first images I've seen. Um, so, yeah, I really can't tell you much about it. What's that little bit there, do you think? Are you talking about that long black thing? Yeah. Yeah, I, I was wondering exactly the same thing. I have no idea. Of course, it looks like it's graded, doesn't it? Yeah. And it, it's, it's, it's not rounded there it's i mean that's that you kind of yeah I've, I've no idea i wouldn't even want to speculate yet it looks interesting. could be anything from a different chamber to uh to a coiling tool maybe it's mesh mm. maybe it's a coiling tool yeah maybe it's mesh so yeah as soon as i have more on that mount a lung chimney possibly yeah that's this is all i have on it but the interesting that this is rta by don't know what that means either so, glass extension. <laughs> Grim mentions it's a drip tip. Well, we'll, we'll have to see. Yeah. Another one from um, a reviewer, Mr. Just Right One. He's been busy of late. This is the a new side by side mod. This is from Mech Life, Mr. Just Right One, and also Fallout. You might have heard of Fallout recently. I've got a Fallout product I'm going to look at in a minute. This is the Paramore. Now, what I like about this one is, although it looks very chunky, it's for good reason. It can house a, a 21700 as well as a 18650 and a, and a 2700. So you've um, you got a bit more battery capacity. So uh, um, USB Type-C, you can fit up to 25 millimeter as well. And it fires up to 80 watts. This is, I want to see more 21700 mods. I want to see more of them. Um, and the yeah. side-by-sides seem to be, be getting uh, popular again, don't they? Yeah, they're picking up steam, yeah. And this style was obviously was really popular with the mix. This kind of, it's not exactly the same, but that kind of look and style, the mix has been very popular side by side. So, yeah, and it's good to see a 21700 in that kind of style coming out. Yeah. Do you think they'll be uh, coming out with a mod, uh, sorry, a tank as well? Um, well, I'd like to think so. So you've got sort of like a kit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it makes sense, wouldn't it? I mean, it's a bit like the Aspire ones, isn't it? They've got like the Prestige line, and like the Nautilus GT look, and those kind of uh, tanks look really nice on the mix. So, 
Yeah, it would make sense. 25 mil at here as well. Mm. I reckon it's quite chunky though, because you've got 21,700 there. I think it's quite going to be quite a chunky feeling side by side. It's going to be a chunky monkey. Chunky. Chunky. Um, talking about Aspire, oh, I'll zoom in on this picture. This is the Aspire and No Name. This is a design by No Name. The ninth. Ninth RTA. It's a hybrid RTA, so you can use a stock coil, or you can also have a you know rebuildable deck. And I do have a picture of the deck as well. So this takes the AVP Pro coils. Um, huh? Oh, sorry. I thought, <laughs> I thought somebody went real. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I'll show you a picture of the deck. There we go. So it's just like a single coil. Oh, oh stupid thing. Let me zoom in. There we go. Just a single core deck. Um, but yeah, Spire have been really busy with um, other people of late, haven't they? Yeah, collabing. Collabing. Been... How, how, how would you then fit this stock coil in then? Would that come out and then the stock coil just pushes in? Yeah, I, I haven't seen enough, but I'm, I'm gathering um, you probably get a separate base or this screws into the original base. I'm not sure yet. Like I say, the, oh, this is all I have at the minute. So I don't yeah. have like the breakdown, but um, someone in chat will probably know. Um, NG Vapes, how hey, you buddy? Or is it not hey, just... Matt, not yeah, Sorry? In, in theory, it could just be an RBA. Mm. It could... Because the, 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 all I'm thinking is I've just reviewed the BP-8 and the base of that coil that you've just shown looks very similar to the base of the BP uh, RBA. So they're yeah. not cheated. It's possible. This picture's a bit deceiving on its size, really, isn't it? But it's threaded at the base, and then there's a few yeah. other bits going on. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure yet. It looks like it can sort of like screw into the base of something else. But... Yeah. One thing I don't get is the name, Ninth. I don't know where that comes from. No, well, it's, the one, must be... it's, it's the one after eighth. <laughs> Has it been an eighth? It's seven and nine. Oh, she was gorgeous. <laughs> every every man's picturing the same thing as what I'm picturing. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, a couple of um, a couple of devices and things and bits and bobs that I don't have much info on yet. First of all, um, some of you might have seen um, the Ultrona and Fallout Gaia, the new version of the mods. I showed it a couple of weeks ago. Dual twenty one seven hundred Sevo uh, chip as well. Sevo two hundred C chip. They've brought out this frosted version. There's a clear and there's like a dark, a black mm. frosted version as well. I like the look of that. Really, nice really CJ. nice. Really, really nice. Yeah. So just for a little update for those, if you've been looking at um, the new these new mods, then they have got a frosted and a, and a, like a smoked and a frosted version available. It'd be nice if it's like my um, uh, Atti stand that, the uh, fucking hell, you can't even talk. The artist stand that vape mill did me, it glows in the dark. Oh, well, that'd be cool. Bill's got one coming, apparently. Oh, nice. Enjoy. Vandy Vape. This might look familiar. They Ooh. brought out the Jackaroo, which was a, a tw single 21700. They finally made a dual 18650 version. So it's still got all the usual IP67 ratings of the last one. It will obviously have the, um, the Vandy chip, the waterproof chip. But they've made it a dual battery. I, I love that. It, it looks like that rubber. What feels really nice. Wait, you know, you know that yeah. sort of feel. It looks looks like that. Yeah, it's got that. It's got that tough yet squidgy rubber, and then it's got yeah. these G10 panels as well. So, um, yeah, I actually think when I reviewed the original Jacker, I said it could have done with being a dual battery version, just to compete with the whole Aegis legend and all that. Pat um, says, "Is that Vic's hands holding it? It does look like his nails, doesn't it?" <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if Bogan's had any input because I know on the original Bogan, it didn't. It, his name wasn't on it, but he had, he kind of had his input on it. Mr. So, Anderson uh, says a two rule. <laughs> a two rule, yeah, it's a two rule, mate. Um, Jack another one <laughs> from Unicorn Vape Co. Now, I think this first of all, this photograph, I absolutely love this photograph. No information on this apart from that, it's called the, as you can see on there, it's the Tokamak. It's a mouth to lung. RDA. We don't see many mouth to lung. In fact, the last mouth to lung RDA I remember is the STNG by Watofo. 
Um, so yeah, no information on this. They've only put this teaser picture up the other day, but I think it looks pretty pretty nice. Yeah. Oh, look at that drip tip, to be honest. Well, I hope it's uh, 510, but I mean, so I, I quite like them kind of gypsies, especially if I'm out to Lung. I quite like more... it. I think it looks nice, that. Mm. Yeah, I would imagine it's probably like a 22 millimeter. It's probably just a single coil deck, you know, fairly simple. I'm interested in the airflow adjustment because you see one hole there on the outer barrel. So I'm wondering if the inner section where the drip tip connects actually spins and that adjusts your airflow. I have no idea. I'm just uh, guessing here. Submising. I'm submising. You say that a lot, that word, don't you? Yeah, submising. submising. It seems quite high, don't you think? Get in, Gary. Yeah. It does. Tokamaka. 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 Pack and back. Pack and back. <laughs> Um, last but not least, big thanks to people that put this in to, um, into the room and tag me in it. From Vapefly, the Siegfried kit. Now, I'd, I'm struggling for information on this. I have a video, though, so I'm going to play that. Ready. Well, that looks sexy. It does look sexy. Yeah. So it didn't tell us nothing, does it? No. <laughs> yeah. So no info yet. I said it on the group. I think that... I said it on the group. I think the tube look extremely like the old Vemos. Yeah, it looked really nice though. Which was my first vape, actually, the Vemos. So yeah, there probably is there probably is details there, but I don't have much yet. Are, are there two different tanks as well? Yeah. Of the, the one on the one on the right looks like it's got like the metal rods in it. That dragon looks absolutely amazing. Yeah, that's the Bron that's the Bronhilda, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so then you've got the Siegfried here and the the, the yeah, device. The one's right. Yeah. So, like I say, I was a bit confused. I was like, well, what are they actually telling us? But, yeah, they're doing something new. <laughs> yeah, I like the look of them. Mm. Um, I think... Oh, no, one more. I've got another RDA. Cool. I should have, I should have split this in half, really, and done half of this for next week. <laughs> now, who would you not imagine would bring out an RDA? Me. A, a, not a reviewer, sorry, Mank. A, a manufacturer. A manufacturer. Never out... 888 Vapes. <laughs> oh, that's a good one that's probably better than actually who actually has done it um no vapor esso oh I, I don't know they probably have in the past but i don't remember vapor esso ever bringing out a rda this is the fours tx80 rda 24 millimeter with top airflow and it has now i'm going to show you a picture of the build deck first person in chat to tell me what it reminds them of wins um um wins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just wins. Just the best. You're just the best person in chat tonight. Ready? Go. Now have you guys got oh. any thoughts? What the debt looks like? It's the, the dead rabbit that, V2. Oh, you ruined now. Oh, there you go. Bill Rich is straight in. Well done, Bill. Yeah. So basically 24 millimeters looks like the dead rabbit style build deck. Um but yeah, I'm quite surprised to see an RDA from Vapor Wassall. Yeah. It's all right. When they probably send it, it'll probably not turn up. So it's all right. And of course, it will have the Axon chip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you haven't seen Flat Cap's Axon um, video, please go out and see it. It's absolutely brilliant. Your singing career is definitely going to take off. No, it's done. It's over. <laughs> it never started. <laughs> anyway, that's in the tech. Thank you so much, brother. That were absolutely fantastic. And as has been said in chat, very little um, pod systems. Yeah, it's been a good week for the vape world. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. I see Sean Lynch. Hope you're okay, buddy. Um, right then, let's let's get quickly moved on because remember we have got the wonderful Rochford giveaway. Um, 
we will be doing this the spinny wheel. We'll do that straight away after the Harley's deals. Play the bumper. Gosh, D, it's the deals in a week. <laughs> all yours, brother. All yours. Let's hope the computer holds mm. out. The, you know, it is definitely my internet connection. So this week I'll invest in an extension thingy, my Bobby. Hopefully, you, you get me one as well. <laughs> the <laughs> IPv3 minute auto squonking kit. Now, it's quite amazing because I didn't actually properly look it up. When I did, it's a mouthful of kit. It has, I don't know if it's two or three different coils, each one's got its own power ranges, and it only goes up to 25 watts, but it's an auto squonking kit. Anyhow, it's down from 65 to 33 squids. That's not bad at all, is Happy it? Days. It's beautiful. Yeah, I've got one of them. I've, in fact, I've beautiful. got exactly that one there. And it's not it's not bad. I've never it's had an bad. auto swanker. Does it work all right? Or Gail okay, just put <laughs> Gail never got on with it. I didn't have really have a problem with it, to be fair. It wasn't my thing, but it worked okay for me. It is a bit weird because you're just kind of waiting for this little thing to go. Zzz, and, and squonk. Hmm. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, mm. that's a funny noise. Node 2. I mean, it's really pissed me off that they've stopped doing the Node 1. I really no, liked the Node 1. Honestly, to be fair as well. Yeah, me neither, to be fair. Um, but the Node 2 is 40 watts. You know what the Node 2 is, so there's not really any point. The only thing I don't like about the Node 2 is that the fire button is the button for doing everything. To turn it up and down the power, you have to use a fire button, like three clicks, then all the... That sort of shit pisses me off. Oh, right. There's no... Like, just... uh... Sorry. The Heroes yeah. didn't release that. Yeah, it has adjustable... Yeah, that's why we've been on. It's not actually that cheap, but still. Yeah, the... Like you're saying, Flank, the... it's only got one button, but it has adjustable wattage. So you have to... I think it's you press it three times and then you hold it to go through... The... And then you stop up pressing it for it to save. Um, I don't know, it's complicated. I like buttons. I like having an extra button as well, like a select button. <laughs> the hero, I would... I, I could have been saying to Aiden, it's only £5 off, but I thought I'd chuck it in because it's newly released. Uh, I think we had it on last week's show, didn't we, guess? Pretty much, yeah. It hasn't been long. It hasn't been released very long. And, and the reviews for it are only really starting to kind of come out quite frequently, so... Still new. Didn't um oh no, who had one? Oh, somebody had one. Oh no, I can't remember. 1,200 mile battery. 1,200 milliamp power battery, 0.42 inch OLED screen, max power 45 wattages, IP60 waterproof, shock proof. It does a dust proof, but I imagine it is. Uh so that's the first one. Onwards, this one, never seen it before, Adverken Owl. It actually takes 18650, 2700s or 21700s. And it's down from 50 quid to 17 squid a ah, Get that one, the beautiful. Beautiful. Get that one, I'm bargaining, babes. Can't remember. Think of it. Oh, I've come on, Harley. Go out and game it. Or like the green one. That's quite yeah. a That's on the album, Mods because... 21700. Sorry, Mank. The, uh, I think the colours are all good as well. They're all nice colours. They're not block colours. You know, they've got that neon -y look to them all. I prefer the red one. And with the Vipresso Tarot Nano 80 Watt Starter Kit. Now, this is usually always on uh, Evolution Vaping. I don't know if it is anymore, but it were for a long while. But I've never seen it on here before, so I thought I'd chuck it on. £20, 50 quid, Usig one. And this is an easy click, man. You know, I've heard really good things about that tarot, actually, just for being decent battery capacity, you know, and a, a fairly solid bit of kit. Yeah, I, uh... Yeah. It's pretty. I like the designs on it. I like, I like the, not that one, ugh. just the uh, effort in putting stuff on them, if you know what I mean. Only, only problem with that is you fear that it's going to wear off, don't you? Yeah. Next yeah. up, I've only put this, pure and simply, the only reason I've put this in is because I wanted to put an RTA or RDA or something in. So there you go. It's £14 all the way down from £35. You need to make but sure the, that you get the, I, I, the, the bubble glass with it. Yeah. 
But it's a monster of a RTA. Yeah, I've got mine here. Yeah. Yeah. It can be. It's it, pretty it, again, you, you need to. It's one of them you need to get it right. And it, but it's absolutely fantastic when you get it right. Hmm. Yeah, I found with that one big fat chunky coil in the middle is absolutely spot on. Yeah, that's how, how I do it. Yeah. And make sure you've got your, your bubble glass so it can wick properly. Yeah. Well, the thing is, in fact, I, I didn't think they were even available much more. Mark used to say, oh, you can't really get them anymore. So I was quite surprised when I see them on EC1. And for 14 quid. No, it's, a, it's, a, it's a steal. Mm. Is it 30? It is a 30 mil, isn't it? Yeah, 30. Yeah, 30. That's right. Yeah, it's a steal. Yeah. It is. Oh, on to me. Come on. We've got the Vupu Dragon Max kit from £60 down to £42.50. We've took now I'm selling the PMP 4.5 pods for £8, which I think is one of the cheapest prices online as it is. But I'll bang that down even more to five fifty for you. And then we've got the VC gone. Sorry, is that for packet two? Yeah, five pounds fifty for two. Yeah, it's cheap. And then the VC, VC4 uh, charger from £22 down to £16. Then obviously you've got the untold juices as well. Happy days. And that's all those deals, but I'll just you've quickly... Even, well, 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 go back. You, you, you've re just released uh, Chapter 2, which I've just reviewed for yeah. you as well. I quite like that. If you're into like, your Skittles vape, that is really, really nice. Yeah, the... Uh... The really prominent players, the, I said to someone of it, I think it was easy click. They, they said, well, what were your inspiration? I said, prominence. <laughs> I don't give a shit what it tastes like, as long as you can taste it. There's no worse than getting a six pound bottle of juice and not being able to taste it. You know what I mean? You may as well be vaping on oh, It's juice. just like you put your hand so, in a, in a, in a um, bag of Skittles and throwing them in your mouth. That's what it tastes like. Yeah. So so that's what I was going for. Yeah, whatever the flavours were. Obviously, I've tried to get nice flavours, but... It was, they, had, they had to be prominent. They had to be worth buying, regardless of what price. Um, but there you go. Oh, chapter V, next one, chapter three, will be out in two weeks today. I explained that in depth for some reason. With Aiden's... Uh... <laughs> I don't have to get it. Now, the big thing is finished. And by the looks of it, Gary Kenny won. So congrats, Gary hey. Kenny. We'll talk about that. Later on, congratulations, um, massive, Gary no, Kenny. No, thank no, you very much, buddy. Just congratulations, thank you as well. Because obviously, yeah, that's and a £135 pound donation all the way to McMillan. Uh, and a, um, a big shout out to you as well, so Arlie, well and thank you, together, mate. Gary. Thank you to you as well, um, Arlie, for doing you're that, mate. Welcome. You're an absolute star. Uh, you're welcome. The, I would, we, we did discuss doing a second one. Um, <laughs> I said if I could afford it and we had time, we'd do a second one. But I don't have to think about time or be able to afford it because Darren M has boomed in. So everything in this, which is quite a long list of things, I mean, I, I, I didn't even bother to work out how much its RRP value is, but it's over £200. And it's all, except from the Untold, being donated by Darren M. It did and even they, offer to pay for the Untold as well. I'll, I'll put in a few and, bits as well, Harley. <laughs> Some of the awards that Darren's put in were won from Fight Gap. So technically he's put in two. Um, but there you go, for starting bid £10. It ends about half past eight next Wednesday. So make sure you bang on to that. I'll bang it into the group uh, later on, if I haven't already. And it'll be on the Vape Mill page as well. Uh, like I said, all the money except from PayPal fees go to Macmillan through Aiden's fundraising. But when I say accept PayPal fees, if, if it's someone we know and, and we have a mutual understanding, I'm quite happy for you to transfer me the money or put it straight into the pot even, and then I'll send them out for you. That way we can waive the PayPal fees, if you know what I mean. But we'll talk about it. And obviously it needs to be in a way that can be proven that we've uh, donated. So... Yeah, the, the, obviously way, it, it, it comes up if you if if Gary Kenny's already donated and uh, into there. So if if you want to donate it straight in, mate, you can donate it in and just say uh, auction win, and then I'll let let um, I will let Arlie know. Thank you very much to Darren M as well for for donating the prizes. Absolutely fantastic. There's a load for you to get in there. We're on the road, if not past now, two K. 
It's absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Look at him. He's he's he's, he's done. What are you up, Superstar? He's just... frozen. He's back. <clears throat> he's back. You froze. You did. You got. It's, <laughs> is it just the internet or? Yeah, it just keeps it keeps coming up saying uh, unstable internet connection. The link to the second auction has just been put in chat, so make sure you go and check it out. Right then, we it's it's giveaway time, and we I've got to make sure that I do this right before it starts. Um, do 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 keyword. There we go. The keyword is. Mank, go up to it, people. Reed is in. <laughs> touch it. Stick Please Mank in. It. You are all ready. Do not do it. Don't double it up or anything like that. Or are we doing the wheel? Are we doing the wheel? Are we doing the wheel? No, yeah, we're doing the wheel because last week it made me feel rather, um, rather poorly. Yeah. I didn't work it. No, it made me feel a bit <laughs> sick. Because it, we must have picked the only number in the world that nobody could get. <laughs> it just went on and on and on, didn't it? It went absolutely balmy. Absolutely. Mm, I could say thank you so much, everyone, at the moment. 123 subs. Thank you so much indeed. That's absolutely fantastic. Please get yourself over to uh, Manx. It has been coming up. We will stick it in there after the auction as well. <laughs> I always like saying things like that. Uh, after the auction, we will stick um, his uh, page up again. Please get over to his YouTube channel. Give him a, a lovely cheeky little sub from us. Also, make sure that if you are watching this on the replay, please leave us a comment down there. You are wanted and loved. And Harley did show the love this week, didn't you, bro? Yeah. <laughs> More than you know. What we do is during the week, we, uh, the three of us meet up, don't we? And we watch the show back and we critique it. And we love reading the comments as well. Yeah. But to be honest with you, I do watch little bits back on the show, the bits where, you know what I mean? I do watch little bits back on it, and we do we do appreciate it. All of the people who keep supporting this show, week in, week out, we do appreciate you. Uh, Alan, nice to see you, brother. So, what have you got coming up this week, Mank? Anything good? Uh, just some juices, mate. I've got um, I've got some more of the King's line that I've got to do. Um, I, I, think I, I think they upset. Bait Maven, to be fair, because one of theirs, um, I did say it tasted like fish, and I flushed it down the toilet. Um, so <laughs> that, that that was that was before um, one of our. Uh, it's, she's actually the uh, the Samantha BBL mama. I know you're in chat, darling. Uh, she's our um, one of our. She's the admin of um, our BBL group on Facebook, and she was saying if you stick a couple of nip shots in it. Give it a shake, leave it for a couple of weeks, it improves the flavour a lot. So I've done that with a couple of them. I'm going to leave them for a couple of weeks and then I'll redo them. But during the week, I've got, I think it's one, two, I've got four more to do, plus this um, Nick Salt that I've got in here. So I'm going to be doing that as well. Um, I might do that Nick Salt on the way to work tomorrow, who knows. That's it, it is short, no more entrance. Keep talking flat cat while I just sort this out, buddy. Oh, look, he has to concentrate on, on spinning a wheel. <laughs> no, it's not that. I need to make sure that there's nobody's name in it, like, because you, you'll put... <laughs> what do... Oh, because I put... No, but I put it in after you'd closed it, I think. Or did I not? You, you might not have done, but it doesn't matter. I, I'll just go I don't mind. it anyway I don't mind sure winning that... some more Watch Your Project. That's not a problem. <laughs> yeah, we could have a few more. Your name's in there. Oh, no. It doesn't matter. That's why I'm going through it. I'm, I'm going through it. We're all right. <clears throat> so I'm what have you got coming up, Flat Cap? Um, I've got the um, Oxford Origin X probably by the end of the weekend. And uh, let someone else have a go. I'm gonna um, I've got loads of juice reviews recorded and done, so I'll probably spam everyone's YouTube over the weekend with about five videos, <laughs> just for fun. Um, Lost Vape Grease, Grass Grease, if you want to call it as well, um, and the Nest, the Nest as well, the Nest. Yeah, so um. Some good stuff coming up. I've, I've got that Groose coming. Have you? Got the Groose Solid. Coming. Solid mod. Um, Solid. That's a 21700 as well, isn't it? I've got my written reviews just come out as well, if anyone wants to read when they're, you know, having a plop. Right. Everybody's name is in there. I've gone through it. There we go. So you can all see. 
There we go. All in there. Oh, it's a lot of names. There's a lot, a lot of names. I think 70 odd. Right, let's give it. Uh, make sure as well, people, just before I roll it, please stick the thumbs up. It all helps. A little bit late now, Louise. Put the thing in me coffee. Aww. And the winner is. <laughs> Pam! Hey. Pam's won. Yes. Pam Brighty, don't worry about it. You are in Australia, but I'm. I'm. What about the rules? He w he'll be happy to send it to Australia, but can you actually send it to Australia? Pam said somewhere it might have been. Even been I'm sorry, Pam. She might have even said it on my review or someone's about. She's. She you can't get Rotary projects over there. It's just so. Whether it's, you know, I don't think it's just sold out there, but hopefully you can get some to it. Get rid of that. Pam, can you just let us know if you can actually? Because he's quite happy to send it. Um, Wherever in the world, but can he get it in to Australia? First of January. Well, there'll be no nick in it anyway, will there? So... No, there's no nicotine in it. Thank you, sweetie. Perfect. My family, some of my family have been awesome. Their rules are just ridiculous sometimes. Pam's yeah. absolutely lovely. She's so, she supports my channel all the time, supports all of us. She's so, so nice. Uh... First to Jan, no Nick. So lovely. Yeah, we'll have. Um, the only thing you're gonna do is get in touch with um, moi. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, Mark said he sent he sent juice to Australia before. So brilliant. I'm really pleased with Pam. Honestly, it was just the other day she put a com comment up saying, "Oh, I can't, I can't well, get Pam. find Watchford over here." So that's brilliant. Fantastic. Yeah, Stuart said as well. Valentine, he's he's, he's from Malaysia. Said that as well. That's absolutely fantastic, really, guys. I, um, it was like what uh, Jay was saying from there. He, he likes everybody to win, but he, he likes it when there's somebody who can't really try it and uh, what would they think of his flavours. So that is absolutely fantastic. And look at the timing, people. Wow. Like a well-oiled ship. Yeah. <laughs> well, it began with yes anyway. <laughs> I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who keeps supporting me. Make sure you check out the vlogs on Urban LBV. That's my other channel. Um, we're on day 21. I'm, I'm on the downward now. On the downward. Yeah, you, you're two thirds away there pretty much, aren't you? Yeah. Fantastic. Mr. Anderson, don't worry about it, buddy. Don't you, worry you about it. You said in your vlog yesterday that like the 20th was a date you were looking, you were trying to get to. Like, Was that from the beginning of the month? You were like 20th stuck a... Yeah, twentieth. Uh, the, the first one was to get me to me obviously be seven days and then two weeks. But the major date in my head was the twentieth, because it's obviously twenty days in. You're on that run down, then you've just got eleven, and and each day you're counting down, and it's you're nearly towards the end. So say over two k now, Aiden. Say again, mate. Did you say over two k now? We will be uh, with that amount uh, going in plus. Uh, we've got another hundred uh, another hundred pounds to go in. Uh, Darth Vader has paid his up in front. Uh, Gary Kenny has got another 50 to pay at the end of the month, or say you put in at the end of the month, which you will do, and also Vaped. So that will take us over the, the 2K. Beautiful. Fantastic. Which is amazing to say that we only oh, wanted no, to, no, to no. do 200 quid. Yeah, but fair play to you. You haven't just put in the effort with um, not drinking. You've also been putting these vlogs out, you know, and you've been putting all the work in as well, mate. So you should give yourself a pat on the back. You've done an absolutely great job. Thank so you, mate. To be honest with you, the support has been amazing. Everybody, like the, the message on each of my vlogs and the, the constantly supporting, people are pushing it out on Twitter. Even McMillan, the selves, have been supporting me on me and, and sharing in it. So, Brilliant. yeah, it's been amazing. Thank you so much for all your support. And don't worry about it, Sean. I will get that PNG file out over to you. I'll do that at the end. Right then, Mank, say your goodbyes, brother. No worries, our kid. I'll do that. Thanks you so much for having me on, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure. Even though with Aiden, I didn't get a word in sideways. Um, everyone in chat, thank you so much. 123 subs. Appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Well done, Aiden. You've done an absolutely top job. Harley's fucked off. No, he'll be back. <laughs> but yeah, you've done a top job, mate. You really have. Keep going, keep going, and keep going. And... Uh, yeah, over to um, Black, Cap. Black Cap. Yeah, before there's anything, um, um, Aiden, I don't know if you've seen Matt Hardy's message. I didn't see so, it, no. Tell Aiden to chuck Pam some Rochford in too, I'll cover the cost. So whether he means extra Rochford or... I'm not sure, but yeah, we'll talk to Matt. Mr. Mank, thanks for coming on, buddy. I need to be on a stream with you where we're both drinking. Because... 
that would sound like fun to me. And me in too. speedos, well, you two in speedos anyway. We've got to do that. The thing is, we're, we're all on Saturday. Me and Ash got shows today, Pa. We'll see if we can get you on. Uh, if you're not busy, uh, you can come on. We'll have a beer. He's got if his own not, show on Saturday. Yeah, you boys stream over me now. The week over or the week after that or whatever, but we'll get you on and, and we'll have a we'll have a giggle. Good stuff. <laughs> He's on every week. He's... Yeah, I'm on every I'm on every Saturday, same time as you, mate. <laughs> Has been for years. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you have, have, have to come back on our show, but you you have to have um you get it from B and M. It's a litre can. It's called Fat Soy, so it's a black one, and it's ten percent extra from lager, mate. Don't sniff it. Just drink it. Don't sniff it. Okay. I, I drank two one litre cans, and I was fucking after it. <laughs> Sounds like a couple of ex-girlfriends, that. Vake Mill, are, are you there, brother? Thanks, everyone, by the way. Thank you. Uh, I don't know. Can you hear me? Oh, we can hear you. Oh. oh, hello. <laughs> hello from a dark side. <laughs> okay, that was the, Terry Wogan. Are you there, Terry? Can you hear me? So I'm just going to talk. Um, are hello. you there, Terry? <laughs> this is BBC Radio 2. <laughs> I'd, I'd sat your internet provider, mate. Tell you the uh... <laughs> you say goodbye, Ollie. Say bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I'll say goodbye for Harley. Harley says goodbye, everybody, and he'll join us next week on his potato internet. The poor lad. Big love to everybody. Make sure you get over to Benny Bates' mixing channel. He will have already started. Big love to everybody. Thank you so much for all your support. Big love to everybody in chat and also our spanners. You do a great job. Thank you very much for all your support on the Sober October. We will catch you next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. Big shout out to Mank. Get yourself over there and give him a subscribe. Love you all. Good night. Ah. Bye. 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 <laughs> oh, bless him. Hundred and twenty-five subs. Whoop whoop. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah.